10 Deep Sea Discoveries. Welcome to Deep Sea Sunday. Hey guys, I've seen there's been a lot of comments asking about where I've been, what's going on. So I thought I would uh, come on real quick and give you a little insight. So I've been uh, doing a lot of traveling and uh, also started a second channel. One with a little bit more flexibility that allow me to include a lot of my travel experiences in it. You can check it out right here. It's called Embrace Random. All right, well, I'll see you guys later. Whale Falls. You can think of it as a deep sea graveyard. These areas are created when the carcass of a cetacean has fallen to the abyssal zone on the ocean floor at depths of over 6,000 feet. Complex ecosystems are created usually arriving in three stages. First, mobile scavengers like sharks arrive, followed by smaller animals like crabs and shrimp. Eventually, bacteria shows up to break down fats, while osidax, also known as zombie worms because they have no eyes or mouth, extract bone marrow. Decades worth of sustenance can be provided to deep sea organisms thanks to these localized ecosystems. Cradle of marine life. Between 2002 and 2005, an international team of scientists examined samples from the Antarctica's Weddell Sea and nearby areas at depths up to 20,000 feet, discovering at least 700 new species. Among the creatures documented were agree swimming worms and nearly 674 species of isopod crustaceans, 585 of which had never before been encountered. In 2009, researchers from the U.S. and Australia explored the Tasman Fracture Zone. Located off Australia's south coast, the team found several new species, including Australia's deepest known carnivorous sea squirt, giant sponges, and sea spiders. In addition, the researchers found deep sea fossil corals that dated over 10,000 years old at depths of one mile. The four-week expedition used a deep-diving U.S. submarine that was about the size of a small car and could reach depths of more than two and a half miles. Hypothesizing among scientists that deep-sea fish make noise had been going on for half a century. That was based on the observation that fish possess organs which can be used for said purpose. In 2012, scientists managed to catch 12 distinct sounds believed to have originated from deep sea fish. Researchers from the University of Massachusetts lowered a hydrophone into the water over 2,200 meters deep and let it record for 24 hours. Typical noises of whales and dolphins were identified, but so were those 12 other unique sounds, which included grunting and quacking noises. Since most fish emit low frequency sounds, it's thought the noises could have originated from deep sea fish, such as monkfish. Because deep sea fish live in darkness, the noises might function as calls by which to communicate with each other. You think those fish would have some deep conversations? Let us know in the comments. A rarely seen deep sea creature was observed and caught in 2013. A Florida fisherman caught the 14-foot monster, which was described as a dinosaur. Well, it wasn't a dinosaur, but it must have been pretty old. It had barnacles on it. It was actually identified as a deep sea species called a hook skate or a finger skate and weighed some 800 pounds. There still isn't much known about these creatures, except they seem to live at depths of 3,000 feet and belong to the same family as the more recognizable stingray. The fisherman, Mark Quartino, released the fish back to the ocean after tagging it. Maybe Mr. Quartino had some sympathy. After all, his nickname is Mark the Shark. An octopus from the deep sea was captured on video by a remotely operated camera one and a quarter miles deep into the abyss off the Oregon coast. Researchers made the discovery in 2005, but only released their findings in 2011. The ghostly creature was actually a Dumbo octopus, known to live closely to a hydrothermal vent sprouting from underwater volcanoes in the Northeast Pacific Ocean. They're the deepest dwelling members of any octopus species, some of them living as far down as 23,000 feet. Because of that, they are rarely seen. Not a whole lot is known about these creatures, since such extreme depths would crush most submarines like a soda can. We do know where they get the name from, though. It's due to the fins that resemble the ears of Disney's Dumbo Elephant. But some people think the octopus more closely resembles Booze, the nemesis of Mario Brothers. 
What do you think? A strange visitor washed up on a beach in Kent, England. Not exactly from another world as such, just the deep seas of this world. It wasn't your usual marine animal washed ashore like, say, a whale or some big fish. No, this was a sea mouse, which is actually a kind of marine worm that's usually found some 6,600 feet below the ocean surface and has been known to as live as deep as 9,800 feet. That's one mighty mouse. The creature is notable for its dense mat of spines, which resemble hair and can change in color from deep red to green and blue. The coloration is a defense mechanism to warn off predators. It's thought the sea mouse had been flung ashore during a storm. Scientists at Scripps Institution of Oceanography in San Diego used a drop cam to observe giant amoebas in the Mariana Trench off the coast of the Philippines. Amoebas, or xenophyphas, are found in abundance on the seafloor and are known to serve as hosts for a variety of organisms. Recent studies have indicated the creatures are likely resistant to large doses of heavy metals due to their ability to absorb mass quantities of lead, uranium, and mercury. Do you get hungry if you skip a meal? Or what if your last meal was 86 million years ago? You might be a bit peckish. In 2009, scientists found bacteria at the bottom of the Pacific Ocean that can live without food, or nearly so anyway. The deep sea bacteria was discovered when researchers drilled into a layer of soft clay. That part of the ocean rarely sees even a single particle of plankton reach the bottom. In other words, it's rare to find anything edible in that location. The researchers calculated there was 86 million years of sediment built up on the ocean floor where the clay in which the bacteria were living. It's thought the bacteria may benefit from having the world's slowest metabolism, using just enough oxygen and nutrients to survive. An amazing deep sea creature known as the Unicorn of the Sea was spotted in the open water off the coast of Tasmania. Known to grow up to 100 feet long, the creature has a hollow, translucent body made up of tiny zooids, kind of like clones, that help the creature feed on plankton and then push the filtered water back out. It's more officially known as a pyrosome and is sometimes called a sea squirt. See you next week on Deep Sea Sundays.